Capricorn. Hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet and welcome if you are new to our soul family. My name is Christine. You can also call me Chris. I don't mind either. Hello Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, cross watchers, anyone who has found themselves here today. It is because there is a message for you. Welcome to your September 2022 channeled Love Messages reading, tarot reading, love oracle reading, and as always, the Tarot Closet channeled song messages reading. This is for September 2022. However, when you get here is when you are meant to receive your messages. So hello, whenever that is, it can be months. What look at that? Weeks, years later, nothing there for us. Please remember this is a general reading. Take what is for you and let the rest go. Please also remember this is not a prediction. Tarot is not predictive. You have free will, as does your person, as does everyone. Please remember this as you're watching and or listening to your reading today. Energies, outcomes can, will, and do change. Please do not make any life-changing decisions based on a tarot reading. Down below, I have playlists for all zodiac signs. I'm rolling out September now. However, readings are timeless. There are a lot of readings there for you. If you want to cross watch what is in your chart, I do recommend rising as well as your person to get a better overall view as to what is going on. I also have very long, very in-depth twin flame soulmate readings. If in fact you are on that journey, you can find those down below in the description as well as the channel no contact and or in separation pick a cards mystery readings and messages from your person everything is down below so as you can see we have half of your reading here let's get the rest down thank you spirit guides angels and ancestors can you please guide our capricorns sun moon rising venus signs and anyone who has arrived here today on their journey please show us the cards aho all right, that is yours. That is yours. That is yours. That is yours. And let's get your overall energy, overall energy card, please. Aho. Here we are. It is the five of pentacles. Capricorn, I got to tell you something about this particular overall energy. If you are on a twin flame journey, just knowing that your person is a soulmate, whatever it may be, I got to tell you my twin flame soulmate readings, this has been really popping up lately. It's a very strong energy. Somebody in this connection, and Capricorn, I think it might be your person, is going through a dark night of the soul. We're going to talk about that as soon as we get there. Yeah, look at that. Also, wow, yeah, this person has left the connection. There's the full card. Also, as you can see, the Five of Swords. Aquarius energy, interesting Aquarius energy in both the very first placement. We have the Four of Wands in your partnership placement, the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. Okay, I can already see a lot of what is going on here. Capricorn, this is your energy, the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, look at that. Your person in deep thought here as well, excuse me, with the Two of Swords, Libra energy about what they can and can't do here, but we see what they're wishing for. Oh, Capricorn, you're reading already. We have the Knight of Wands coming here in the naughty corner, guys. Leo energy. Also, the Ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy. We are in Virgo season. And yeah, we are about to, well, we're in a, we just had a full, excuse me, a new moon in Virgo. We're about to go into a full moon on, gosh, what is that? September 9th? No, September 10th, excuse me. Although it's in Virgo season, it's actually going to be under Pisces. Interesting, harvest moon coming. But look at this already. Wow, guys. Okay, let me just straighten things up and we're going to get right into it, dear Cappy. Capricorn, I want to first start with your overall energy, five of pentacles. Okay, first of all, we know that this is Taurus energy. And yeah, it's been so strong. I got to tell you, in my twin flame and soulmate readings, 
that somebody is going through a dark night of the soul. And I gotta tell you, Capricorn, I think this is your person. Why do I feel this? Because as I look down at your reading, I can see here that your person is in a situation that they are not able to get out of, I want to say. And I also feel they're really thinking a lot about you. Now I can see that this is a no contact and or in separation connection. We already know that, but it's very clear that that is in particular with the Two of Swords. Also, Capricorn, your energy is here in the Two of Pentacles, and I really do feel that's surrounding your person, although they, of course, can also be a Capricorn. And before I get into that, I want to tell you, when I talk about zodiac signs, it is for those of you that need that validation that it's you or your person or chart, chart placement, excuse me. But that's also about the energy. So as you hear me move along, with the zodiac signs, I'm um, bringing that energy forth. Don't worry about it if you're not hearing the sign that you think you need to or want to hear because it really is about the energy. We're going to get into this in a moment. And of course, the naughty corner, if you watch my readings, you know, this is your person's energy. It's really very, very clear what is going on to me, but I'm going to start here with your very first placement. Now, it can be all you, can be your person, can be both of you. It's very clear here that you're both here. This is the Five of Swords and the Fool card, and we can see that your person has, there's a lot of regret here. This Aquarius energy, I do feel, as I said, this is a really a quite quiet connection you're not talking at all right now there don't seem to be any messages or any speaking here we see that in the two of swords and I feel a lot of what happened here was your person guys taking off in the connection running now some things were said some things were I feel like more said or not said is what comes through and then some ghosting just a gone here and I don't feel like that there's any arguments per se, but some residual stuff has been left behind. And we see the regret coming through in the Five of Pentacles. Also, in the Five of Swords, we see that your person was, yeah, a little bit of ego coming through here, guys, and not considering your feelings. When particular things were said, but also not being said, and that's another thing I want to say to you, it's really clear that your person was hiding how they felt about you. We see that here also in the Four of Wands and the partnership placement, right below it, the Wheel of Fortune. Now, a lot going on here too. I want to begin by saying what we already know, what's very clear. This is a faded connection, a destined connection. And yeah, it's right here in the partnership placement. Look at this right next to the full card. So we're going to get into this a little bit more here. Your person, we can see right here in the Wheel of Fortune and Four of Wands and the Two of Swords kind of everywhere here took some time out. Why do I feel that your person took this time out? I do feel that they're really questioning a lot in their life right now. I can see in the Two of Pentacles that your person is feeling stuck with where they are, guys. And the other thing I want to say to you, and right below that, the Two of Swords, they're really in a lot of thought here, um, a lot calmer than they have been, I feel, really thinking about what it is that they want, where are they going here, trying to balance their mind quite literally going really, really deep. What are they going deep about? Well, look here, look at your reading. Right above it is the Two of Pentacles. This is the, I want to say, well, as you know, it's like an eight on the sign. That is an infinity symbol. So it's telling us that your person is in their karmic lessons. They're working something out with another pers person, a karmic partner, and their family. Look at this. Really caught up in it, but they're feeling quite stuck very afraid to move forward, really hiding their feelings, but really in deep thought, feeling like they need to make a decision. Capricorn, have you been putting something out in social media, maybe through friends that you're connected with? Um, that comes through also look here in the partnership placement in the Four of Wands, because your person is really feeling like 
yeah, that they may have lost you or they may have lost their chance. And that is a big part of why we see the five of pentacles here. A dark night of the soul, big time. I do feel that that is your person. I got to tell you, a lot going on here. The pentacles, of course, are about commitment. This is about your connection, but this is also about their commitments, I feel, in their, their life with a karmic partner. It's really clear here. The stained glass window telling us that that those glasses that your person had on that was keeping them from seeing the truth of their situation and the truth of how things went down and how things are going has been removed. Look, we see in the two of swords, they put it there on their own. They were holding and are still holding themselves back. Why do I feel that? I feel that because there's a really strong tie to the life that they're living in. They are really afraid to leave the situation they're in, although they are feeling quite stuck. And that is why I'm feeling this energy. And as I said, if you are watching my Twin Flame and Soulmate readings and messages from your person readings are not specific to Twin Flames, but it's a very strong leaning, but soulmates as well. So if you consider your person a soulmate, which I got to say, if you don't, I, I want to tell you that they are a soulmate. We can have many soulmates in the world, as you know, romantic or otherwise. This person that you've come here for, your specific person is most definitely a faded connection, a soulmate, the red thread of fate, guys, really meant to be together. Your person knows that. And that is why I feel here the loss that your person is feeling. It's so strong. Do I think that they've taken this blindfold off that we see here in the two of swords? And are they seeing what it is they need to see? Yeah, I can't say that they're seeing it all, but they're seeing a lot more than they have. And coming in this too is a choice, is a rebalancing, is a figuring out how can I do this? How did I get into the situation I'm in? How can I change this? Is my Capricorn still there? Because you're also here, Cap. You're also here. This is the two of you. And what's really just wow about this situation is it is about divine timing. I gotta tell you, it's so much about divine timing. It's really quiet right now. It's so quiet. If you look here on the stained glass window too, those rose colored glasses that your person has removed, yet they still have the blindfold on. They're still living in a lot of fear. It's very emotional. Is behind that, if you can see, is the tree of life and that this outcome is there. You're, you're, this is a divinely guided connection and that comes through very, very strong here. And I got to tell you also a whole lot of meeting in the 5D, lots of telepathy going on between you. Capricorn, I feel that you're feeling your person in a way that you, um, it comes and goes. That's what I want to say to you too. We see that in the Wheel of Fortune. That is the cycle of life. It ebbs and flows. It's very strong here. But it's also strong that right now there's a lot of messages going out. And was that the Twin Flame reading? I had a reading recently. I think it might have been. It could have also been the messages from your person. And the police song, Sending Out an SOS, came through. And that's why you're feeling your person's energy quite strong right now because they are telepathically sending that to you. They're feeling very stuck. The hard part about this is I feel the loss, but it doesn't feel over. There does seem to be timing involved here and an outcome much later, but I don't feel like your person is seeing that. And it can also be the case for you here. Can't even be you in this dark night of the soul. I don't feel that that is, I feel your sadness and your loss here, but I feel that that is more of your person and that's about the life that they're in here, guys. And that's what I want to tell you too, that five is really strongly connected also to Mercury. And what that's about communication, as you know, that is the planet of communication. Also a lot about memories. So your person remembering a lot of things, having a lot of regret about things that were said, things that weren't said, but they're feeling quite stuck here. And we're getting so close to, we're in actually the pre-shade of Mercury retrograde and we're getting really close to being in it. I want to say it's 
gosh, yeah, September 9th to October 1st. And what happens when Mercury is, well, look, it just wanted to travel there. When Mercury is in, I'm going to send that message through just a moment. When Mercury is in retrograde and in, in pre-shade, well, it's communication, it's travel, it's um, thoughts get jumbled, as you know, Mercury retrograde it's a hard, it's not a great time to communicate and it's a hard time to be clearing our mind and your person here is really struggling to clear things up for themselves here, guys. It's so super emotional and they're thinking a lot about the beginning with you and is it over? They're really trying to figure out, is this going to happen? Is it not going to happen? What, what do I want? What am I feeling? And they're not trusting themselves right now. Um, which way to go. It's really, really strong. So I got to say this particular time in real time as you watch this reading or when you get here, it is still this connection and what is going on is a strong indication that you're very much on their mind, but it's, it's about divine timing and they're not moving. They're scared to leave the life they're in. They're scared to make a decision, but they're really deep in thought. And this is what I wanted to talk about because it came down here. Look, they're saying, sending this message to you, Cap, saying, look, I have not forgotten about you. You're here. We've been through a lot. Can we ride this out? Will you wait for me? That is what is coming through here. They are, in this reading, Cap, I got to tell you, there is another person. Is that you? Maybe. But I think it's your person. And it's a karmic situation. And they're in it. And they're trying to balance it. They're not doing a great job. Look, it's coming right through. It wanted to travel here. And I'm going to leave it here to send this message. And then I'm going to put it back. Why? Because I don't know. <laughs> I just feel drawn to do that. I feel like that's where it belongs. But I felt that this message needed to come through. That's your person saying that to you. And this is the eight on the side, guys, the infinity symbol. Eight, of course, is a number of action accomplishing something. It's considered a lucky number. There's a lot of Gaia energy around it, a lot of healing. There's a lot of regret coming through, and they're sending that message to you, and it's coming through and synchronicities and signs in your dreams. You're just knowing when you're feeling your person's energy, they're feeling your energy. They're sending this to you now. I'm, I just keep hearing it. It's SOS. I'm sending out an SOS. So I feel that you're seeing a lot of signs at the moment, probably dreaming about your person more than usual. I think that you have been, but at the moment it is really strong that they're energetically connecting with you and wanting you to hear that they are stuck. They are stuck here and struggling with what to do. Um, gosh, you guys. Yeah. And look at that. <laughs> Everything just restored here. And that's the thing I want to talk about. This is the naughty corner. What is the naughty corner? Well, I say that in humor and Capricorn. If you've been at my readings for a while, you know that. But you also know it has evolved over time into your person's energy. Now, Look at that. It's the Knight of Wands. It's Leo energy here. Your person really thinking about their next move here. What can they do? They're holding on to this wand, guys. That is the energy of love. Look at the leaves coming off of it. That is about the change they really want to make. They're holding on to you, Capricorn. They are holding on to you. But look at this horse. The horse looks like it's ready to go off. But if you see this person has fear on their face, that is your person. They are afraid here to come and move forward. Why? Because we see it right underneath it in the Ten of Pentacles. There's a lot of regret. They were not considering your feelings here. I feel they were not telling you the truth. They're wanting to desperately tell you. And I am hearing that message and it will be really interesting to see if it comes down that what you're seeing online or maybe what you're hearing in particular through the community or through friends and, and again, it can't even be social media. What you might think is going on that's being shown, that's positive and so wonderful, it's not really what is happening. It's really clear here. Your person is very loyal to the life they're in. They're really thinking about going, but they're not able to. You see the fear here. 
And we see that also in the armor. There's a lot of self-defense here and that's not really, I feel like that's not geared toward you so much as it's just about this connection. It's creating a lot of conflict within their mind, a lot of fear here. They're holding on to it. They have not let you go, Capricorn. It's very clear. They're also thinking a lot about, um, look, here it is. Here they are in deep thought about you and about the direction they can go in, but they're sending the message, I'm in it, I'm in it, but you're still here. Do you see this? Those are sailboats. It, that's the two of you. You're very much here in their mind thinking a lot about, for some of you, things that were going on between you in real in person, but that's not for everybody. We're, we're literally in the pre-shade right now, and Mercury is about the direction. It's about communication. It's about the memories. They haven't let you go. It's right there. Are they hoping for this new cycle with you? I do believe that they are, but I believe that they're afraid to move here. They're afraid to move. There's a lot of fear. They're ready to go on one hand. They could put these swords down at any moment and not be so conflicted and indecisive, but they're not. They're, we see here in the two of pentacles that they're still stuck. They're juggling it all. And again, as we talked about in your second placement with the four of wands and the wheel of fortune, they're thinking a lot about what can they manifest. That's coming through here in the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords, guys. And that is about the two of you. And this is you and their life here. Look, they're bucked and ready to go. Is that, is that the way to say it? <laughs> anyway, they're ready to go and they're thinking a lot about it. But they're not moving. We see here in the Wheel of Fortune the outcome that they want. This is a 10. This is a new cycle. They're hoping for this. Look, for some of you, you might actually run into your person at an event, but I don't think that's for everyone because it's not always going to be about the physical connection. This is a four. That is a number of stability, and that's everything. It's physical, mental, spiritual, and emotional. Things are not lining up for you. They hadn't been. We see that really scared your person. A lot of triggering and mirroring going on. We see that in the Knight of Wands. We know that. We also see it in the sword energy. Really strong here, guys. Your person has a lot of regret for, for that yeah, that inconsideration, I want to say, not taking your feelings into account here in the full card, this lack of commitment. They're, they really hesitated. They also did not tell you what was going on. They were really afraid what, about a lot of a lot of what other people thought, excuse me, and they still are. It's holding them back here. And that's what I want to say to you. But we also see in the full card, on the other hand, that your person is not letting you go. They're, they're still really thinking a lot about it. They're thinking a lot about the choices that they made, the choices that they can still make. And that's what I want to say to you. Look, they're really dreaming about that and having that outcome with you in this Wheel of Fortune. This is, again, a faded connection, a destined connection, and it's a very strong connection, but your person was also really afraid of it and took this time away to do what? To realign. And we see that right here in the Four of Wands. It's the energy of love. It's very passionate energy too. There is a lot of thought here, but they're so in. They're so in their life, guys. And yeah, I'm not... I'm not excusing anything. I just want to say, first of all, that always trust yourself, your intuition, your gut instinct. Those are your guardian angels, which are very clearly here, have been here. This is a very divinely guided connection. So this is this is never going to be advice for you, Cap, and you already know that. I just want to tell you what is going on here, that your person is thinking a lot about you. They miss you. They have a lot of regret for things that were said, really more than anything for things that were not said, and for the silence. They hate the silence. They don't like it either. But things are a little bit out of control around them. I do feel like it's settling. It's a lot calmer. We see that here in the Two of Swords, but it's still going on. They're thinking a lot about you. They're thinking a lot about the future. How, 
How can they get to you? What do they need to do? But it's all about timing because they're not, I feel they're not leaving any situation that is going on in their life. Oh, Capricorn. Capricorn, let's get into your Oracle messages. By the way, this is Opalite, as you know, Baleen, Opalite. It is connected to Libra energy, which is all about balance, and it's also reciprocal in communicating. So a balance that needs to be had. Who's saying, both of you saying what you need to say, listening to the other person and aligning. That isn't happening. That's what I want to tell you. Cancer and energy also coming through. Your person really wants to communicate with you and I feel like it's coming through in telepathic messages. It's coming through in their energy. It's coming through in synchronicities. It's coming, you're feeling it. But I don't feel in this particular message unless we see otherwise. I'm not feeling a physical message right now coming through. It can very well be in particular, if you have been resonating with my twin flame readings, my soulmate readings, messages from your person readings, those have been incredibly strong that a message is trying to get through, but that's what I want to say to you. It's trying to get through. We're in the pre-shade already. So it's like, wow, here it comes. It's like wisdom of the Oracle. The message is in a bottle. It's floating in there in the divine. It's all about divine timing. It's emotional, but it can be carried off by the tide. It can be taken down by a creature in the sea, that message. It feels like, especially right now, that we know what's going on in their life with a karmic connection. We know that they're thinking a lot about you, but it can be these messages are getting lost, as in being unsent or being written and not sent, being contemplated, thinking a lot about it. They're thinking so much about it. Look, this I would almost say to you in many ways, it's this brown horse, which is a lot about your person having a lot of humility, I gotta say. And really, maybe even that's what's strange here. And boy, did that come through with the mystery reading, my gosh, of wanting to write a love letter, but it's kind of like on the verge of it. So have they written it? Have they unsent it? Are they sitting on it? Are they thinking about it? Yeah, that is what's happening. They wanna tell you a lot. They want to say so much to you, but they're very held back right now. So it can be that, yeah, there is a message here, but it's not, it's lost. It's being, it's being, yeah. And I don't want to say physically deleted, but maybe by your person, maybe they're deleting that message. Maybe they're not sending it, but there's definitely a lot of thought about it. They're thinking a lot about it, but what they're thinking more about is their life, where it is now, where they're going. It's super strong here that they're stuck here, guys. And also a person who is, is quite in charge of things. We see that also in the Ten of Pentacles. And for a lot of you, that is divine masculine energy, not for everybody. And one more thing before we get into your... Okay, all right. So we're going to have to look at these. <laughs> There's three. It's the most I'll take. And yeah, that's strange, but not surprising. How that just happened, so we're going to look at them, but what I wanted to say to you here also, look at that. You see those ships there. You see the ships. One is bigger, one is smaller. I feel like that is you. You're still there, and you're also, it's sort of like if you think about all the the thinking that they're doing, they're really in deep thought here in the Two of Swords. Over what? Over this, over decisions that were made that they didn't love, that they regret, decisions they know they have to make that they're not ready for yet. The somebody taking more time here, that's also clear in the partnership placement, I got to tell you, in the past energy of somebody taking more time and still being um, taking more time. Look what it's catty corner with the ton of pentacles here. You're still there. You're still on your on their mind very much, but they're trying to balance these out. That's what I want to say to you. So what you're going to do is up to you, not me, not anybody else, your free will, trusting yourself, your intuition, your gut instincts. Those are your guardian angels, guys. I know I'm not telling you anything you don't already know, Capricorn, but wow. Yeah, this is, um, I, 
it's very emotional because your readings, well, your readings are always very emotional, but I feel this love here. I feel a lot of love and I feel a lot of longing, a lot of longing. Watch for those signs. I, I feel a lot of you have already been dreaming a lot about your person and are seeing signs. Watch for those signs because they're trying to, they're trying to get that message to you. I feel like it's all coming through here today. So again, it can be that that message was unsent or never actually comes. And if it does, if we see an indication of that, just be careful because we are in the pre-shade and that does affect communication here. And that's also connecting with the communication in our minds. And we see that here in the sword energy, in the two of swords, the clarity that your person is trying to get that they do not have. So this Mercury pre-shade now and coming into the retrograde, which is going to last all the way till October 1st, is a time of indecision. It's a time of not being clear and it's a struggle and that creates a lot of this Five of Pentacles feeling that it's over, but it's not really over, which is causing a lot of stress for someone. I feel like, again, it's your person and it's a dark night of the soul or it's darn close and it can be going on for a little bit longer here. That's what I want to say to you. Let's see what's going on first in this middle card. Um, wow. Yeah, look, that nine... That is your person in deep thought, guys. That is exactly what they're doing now. It is a number of completion, but it's also a number of, it's a completing of a particular cycle, but it's not a completion, a full completion. It's not the 10. Your person is still in it. There's still, there's a lot of stuff going on in their life. So something is passing this five of pentacles, we see them moving out of it, I would say timeline wise, which I don't normally do, but I got to tell you, it does come through in October, this autumn here, um, that particular struggle here. So, but it's not the end of a cycle and look, it's the rose and look here, it's this good luck. This luck here right on the rose, which of course is about love. This is about change. Look, all the alignment, all the chakras are here. This is what I feel your person is wanting. And that's partly why this is such a big struggle because it's just not happening right now. Oh, Capricorn, what is going on here? Ears wide open. 33, that is a master number. Hello, I don't know what just happened with the camera there. Anything is possible. Anything is possible. You know what else is coming through here? Is the angel guidance. It's really strong and it's even coming through, I know, of all cards, the five of pentacles and the five of swords. That is that five. Your angel guides are with you saying it's going to be okay. And look, this is what's interesting is I feel there's a lot coming through here. In some ways, I feel this is you waiting to hear from your person, but this is also your person connecting with their guides, with their angels here in this contemplative energy. And of all things, the two of swords, really in deep meditation here. When I talk about the two of swords, it's not always that way, but right now they're, it, they're really, really just a lot calmer than they've been. There's a really strong Gaia energy here in this reading. And for a lot of you too, that's you sending that to your person. There's a lot of deep thought going on. Your person listening to that, they're listening to what it is that they want, but they're not ready to make any moves. That's what I want to say to you. It's really strong that they know, and that's why things are feeling like they're, they're struggling here, but they are getting a lot of downloads. That's what I want to say to you. What's going on here? This is so not surprising. A tall tale. These are the things that your person was telling themselves that they're coming out of now. This is the denial. This is also them hiding how they're really feeling. This is your person afraid of what other people other people think, really hiding hiding their communication here. And yeah, we see Pinocchio. We see Pinocchio, which is of course connecting to the truth. So can your person have lied to you? Yeah, for sure. But what that's not what is coming through in this message now. What's coming through in this message is your person 
being honest with themselves and they're really struggling with that. They're really at a they're they're fighting with themselves here, guys. It is so strong because their higher selves know how they feel and what life they want, what future they want, their regret, it's all there. But the, here now in the 3D, they're living their life here with someone else, I gotta tell you. And yeah, they're the here now in the 3D, they're struggling to make sense of that, of how things got where they are. That is, um, wow. So I gotta tell you, this is coming through. This tall tale here is stuff that they're telling themselves, which they're desperately trying to come out of here in the 3D. That is an eight. Again, there's that eight. That is an action number. It's a, a lucky number, what's considered. Not only is that an action number, but take an eight, guys. What happens when you put an eight on its side it's an infinity symbol. So are they taking action? No, they're not. Thought, that's what they're struggling with. They're thinking a lot about it. And it's causing a lot of struggle. We see that in the Five of Pentacles. But that is the action here, is being honest with themselves and figuring out what it is they want to do, what can they do, which comes through again in the Two of Swords here over the situation that they're in. There's a lot of struggle a lot of not being honest with themselves here. So yeah, I gotta say to you, we already know that this is a divinely timed connection that is just nothing new at all, but it really is right now your person's in it. And it's, I don't feel like that, that this is a come together now situation. Maybe a message is coming through, as I said, um, because it's here that they're struggling with it, maybe unscented, but I don't see a clear picture here. Okay, I'm going to stop. We're, we're, that's it. <laughs> we're going to get into messages from their higher self. What do you want to say to your Capricorn? I'm sorry I ghosted you. Yeah. Yeah, look, that is the Five of Swords, the very first placement coming through. And that is a lot of what happened that really scared them. And they were just gone. For what we've been through and for what we can still be, let's give our love one more chance. That's a lot of what they're thinking about. But do I see this clearly coming through in, an, in, a, in a physical letter, 3D? I don't. But I really, this is their messages from their higher self. This is what is going on in their mind and what they're thinking. What they're sending to you here and now. Look, these coming through in three. Okay. Our connection runs so deep. Yeah, we know that. That's nothing new. I'm going to take this space here, guys. That was a lot of the fear, is still a lot of the fear, because they're in a life here. I'm thinking of you right at this moment. Capricorn, baby, I need your love. Please come back to me. This is the energy that I've been feeling that your person is afraid that you're leaving the connection completely. A lot of you don't have your person blocked. Some of you might, but I don't think that's going to last. That's what I want to say. A lot of you don't. You're still keeping, you're keeping some lines of communication open, Capricorn. That's what I feel here. So it can be, yeah, phone numbers or social medias, but it's also just staying open to that. That's the ears wide open to just kind of, you're there. You're both still there. And the separation, this particular separation has been very quiet. It has been very, very quiet. I cry over you when I'm alone. That's too many here, but that's yours. I miss you more. I run because this love is so intense. Okay, so three, it's the most. And they're validating the Five of Swords, which we already talked about. As every moment ticks away, the more I keep thinking about the past, the stronger I feel that our love is meant to last. I love you, baby. Yeah, that's the Mercury coming through. The communication. You are my destiny. And that's the Wheel of Fortune. And we know that this is a faded destiny connection. We already talked about it. But here's another confirmation. Things are going to get covered. <laughs> I do apologize. 
You didn't deserve how badly I treated you. Oh, yeah, look. There's a lot of regret, I'm telling you. There's so much regret for it. I'm not over you because I don't want to be. Being being together with you is all I can see. XO, XO, hug and kiss and hug and kiss. That is a really big part of the struggle here in the Five of Pentacles. The two, uh, the two of Pentacles, excuse me, Capricorn, your energy, you're there. I think you might be the little ship, but you're there. And you also see that you're here in the memory, the tapestry. That's both of you. That's also con so connected to now. And why I also feel here that maybe there was an unsent message or there's one ready to go in, in many ways, but being held back because it's about the memory of you, about the two of you. I don't want you to get over me. They don't. Yeah. I made you cry, but that is never how I wanted things to be. Interesting. I really want to be with you. I'm going to get... Well, I said one more is what I wanted to say, but last chance. So it could be more. Last chance. It's one. No, look, here's another one. And this got pushed off with it. <laughs> I tell you. Capricorn, your person here, trying to get in as many as they can. You know me better than anyone. I'm not asking for a lot. All I want is for you to take a, to look into my eyes and say that everything will be okay. That can also be you, by the way. Boy, that throat chakra just now. Woo! Gemini Virgo coming through. And yeah, we're in the pre-shade already. So... That's the other thing. It can be too with that two of swords that they just say, shoot, okay, that's it. I'm deciding. I'm sending this message of love really impulsively. And yeah, it's just, woo, it's kind of, it's a rocky time right now. My life's biggest, biggest mistake was to think that I'll be okay without you. The truth is I'm not, and I never will be. I miss you. And that is the truth that we saw here, the tall tale of your person telling themselves and they're realizing a lot here a lot of epiphanies guys okay i'm going to get into the love song messages your person sending messages to you from their higher self through song it can be that your song comes through but it can also be that it doesn't or a song of relevance to you it can be songs that you don't even like. <laughs> it's about the message. It can it can even be one word, one thing in here that connects you and you say, yeah, that, that, that's what it is. And if you're feeling like it's not there, there's something in there for you. I've, I gotta tell you that. It's really important that you know that. So let's see what your person wants to send to you from their higher self through song. Maybe I didn't love you quite as often as I could have. And maybe I didn't treat you quite as good as I could have. Willie Nelson, always on my mind. By the way, that was, I want to say messages from yourself reading here. Could have also been the mystery reading, but it's real strong because you are always on their mind, Capricorn. In the middle of the night, just to question what is wrong and what is right, I find my answers. It's always true. The path leads to the beauty of you, the beauty of you, Jimmy Lefebvre. A lot I want to say to you here. First of all, Jimmy Lefebvre was a very good friend of mine and a very beautiful songwriter, singer, songwriter, soul, person, human, interpreter of song, everything. And this is a very clear message. This is the Two of Swords, which is right next to the tall tale, the little Pinocchio here. And this is exactly what we talked about in the middle of the night, just to question what is right and wrong. And that's what I want to say to you also about the two. It, it is a lot of that. The two is a lot of things. It's right. It's wrong. It's past. It's present. It's the two of you. It's yin. It's yang. It's the balance. It's wow here and it's your person the truth and true and false that's what i want to say your person here thinking a whole lot in the night about w what is true and what's not true they've been holding themselves back telling themselves stories and that's what they're trying to get out of and they're feeling it it's coming to light here they're coming out of this five of pentacles and this is here with the truth here this stained glass window is taking off those rose-colored glasses, the ones, that, the blind that they're wearing here in the Two of Swords. This, the stuff they've been telling themselves, 
the tall tail coming right below it. They're, they're being forced to look at it and it's not feeling, it's what they have to go through here, guys, in their, their karmic cycles here, in their life, in their life. It's what they're, it's where things are right now. I don't know how else to say that. Okay, this is also yours. There is more than one of you, but only one of them is true. Only one of them is true. Only one of them is true. More than one of you, Neil Finn. Guys, I don't even know. This is so goosebumpy. Capricorn, that's the two of pentacles. That's just what we're talking about in their karmic cycles in their life here. And the two of swords, yeah, it's very clear why this is here. And um, the way it came down as well. Take my breath away, my love. Take my breath away, my love. Take my breath away, my love. My love, take my breath away. Take my breath away, Berlin. Sending that message to you. These two are yours. And I'll always take you with me like a charm. You keep me in the good light, safe from harm. Only one angel. Oh my gosh, Jamie LeFave, there's another one. This is very strong here. Look, there is more than one of you. In the middle of the night to question what is wrong and right. I find my answers. It's always true. The path leads to the beauty of you. Not letting you go. Only one angel. It's you. Capricorn, it's you. From that old loving you feeling again. It's really got me reeling again. It only seems to stop to start all over again with you. That loving you feeling again. Roy Arborson and Emmy Lou Harris. You're reading Capricorn, and I gotta tell you, these are both coming off. Collectively, the energy has been so strong through music. It's always very strong. As you know, I'm a musician, and I've, I've always done my personalized channeled song messages for you. And at times in your readings, it's really strong, and sometimes it's a little less. Sometimes I even choose not to bring them into a reading. It is collectively in all my readings recently that messages are coming through. There's a really strong musical connection, whether it's playlists or musicians, whatever. But songs being sent, songs just diving into them deep and, and thinking about you and sending that energetically to you. It's really strong and it's really strong in this reading today, Capricorn. Conversation with you was like a drug. It wasn't your face so much as it was your words. Because there's something about what happens when we talk, something about what happens when we talk, something about what happens when we talk. Listen to Williams. Another song you really got to listen to because they're really missing talking to you. It's also why they're struggling here in this Five of Pentacles because it's really, they're stuck. Stuck in the mud. Is that, that what's that YouTube song? A uh, YouTube song, U2 song, <laughs> stuck in a moment. Yeah, they're, they're stuck in the mud too. It's, they're stuck here. It's like this snow, this cold period. It's been really quiet between you, extra quiet. We see that in the Two of Swords, but things are thawing out here. See that tree of life here. Look at that glow. It is thawing out, but they're not quite moving yet still. They're trying to get out, but they're not. They're stuck in the mud. My gosh. Oh, 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 I'm on fire. Yeah, that's the fiery energy trying to melt it. That's the, the, the Knight of Wands here. I'm on fire. I'm on fire, Bruce Springsteen. So yeah, can it be that maybe something does come through? If it does, it, it can be, yeah. But if it does, it's going to be really out of nowhere and unexpected and out of the blue. It's going to be an impulsive decision because they are in that mode. So it can be, as I said earlier, and, I, and it's coming through again, that they just go... Yeah, that's it. I'm just going to say what I want to say. Love, only love, can bring, bring back your love someday. I will be there. I will be there still loving you, the scorpions. Well, I don't care who's right or wrong. There it is again. That right, wrong, yes, no, true, false. Everything in their head, also the Two of Pentacles, the Two of Swords. Chris Christofferson helped me make it through the night, and that is the energy. That is when they're really thinking about this. It's so strong right now. 
Oh, Capricorn. Pride has built a wall so strong that I can't get through. It's this song again. Okay, this is very goosebumpy. When this happens, it's an echo. It's a validation here. And we saw that really very early on in your reading that there has been a lot of pride that comes through in that full card energy. We know that. Pride has built a wall so strong that I can't get through. Is there really no chance to start once again? Still loving you, the Scorpions. Yeah, they're being, they're in their life, but they have been holding themselves back. We also know that. And a lot of that was the fear, but also because it's the a life that they're in that they're afraid to leave. Capricorn, my gosh, here. And that pride is your person. It's... There is some ego death, I feel, going on here for sure, but there's still a lot there. And yeah, it's their life, but it's also themselves holding them back. We already know that in the Two of Swords. We know that they're stuck here. Sticky. They're put themselves there, but in many ways, they're, yeah, they're physically not able to because of their life. Okay, last chance. As I said that, these two just pus pushed off. They're yours. Then we're going to get into the tarot closet channel love messages. Today I'm in a pool of fairy stone, and then we're going to end your reading. Well, I'm living in your light now. As we circle around, oh my gosh, the sun. Yes, I'm living in your light now. You know you are the only one living in your light. More Jamie LaFave. Capricorn. Capricorn. Yeah, this is a really intense, intense connection. Oh my gosh. I'm still loving you. I'm still loving you. Did I see this already? Or still loving you, still loving you. Pride has built a wall. Love only love. Now here's the third. Wow. And you know what the third is? I got to tell you, that's three. Guys, that is the divine. That's the number of the divine. That is divine. Feminine, divine, masculine, and union. Also, one would say the source here. God, your goddess, the universe. It's it's all about divine timing here. This echoing of this song. My gosh, Capricorn, I'm still loving you. I'm still loving you. I'm still loving you. I need your love. I'm still loving you. Still loving you, baby. Still loving you, scorpions. Yeah, it's divine timing. I don't really know what else to say here. And by the way, when I talk about divine masculine, divine feminine energy, we all have both. So whatever you're considering yourself to be in this particular situation, you're both here. You're both here very much. And this is a very clear message coming from your person. Capricorn. Wow. By the way, Rose Quartz here, Aries, Libra, also Taurus coming through. Your person is asking for forgiveness and there's a lot of regret for things that were said and a lot of things that weren't said. And yeah, I feel for some of you too, there might have been a message and then a little bit of a communication, but some pride just kept it from really going deep here. So they're sending this through. They really feel a lot of regret here. It's coming through so strong, wanting your forgiveness. And remember when we forgive people, it's for ourselves so that you so that we can lighten our load here okay messages from their higher self the tarot closet channel love messages i have so many regrets we were just saying that <laughs> these two are also yours yeah so that's a validation we will be together again someday you deserve so much more it's really hard living without you I made so many mistakes. It's getting heavy here on the Two of Swords. I'm sorry I ran. That is the Five of Swords there. You are my other half. Yeah. Are you on a twin flame journey? Well, there's a confirmation here. If you're not, let that go. Because, you know, this is also about your soulmate connection with your person. They are a soulmate. If you are a twin flame, you can have, you have one twin flame, you, you can have many soulmates. We all can have many soulmates in our life. This is a romantic, this is a soulmate. This is, yeah, also a really strong connection as to why you came together, why you are and aren't in each other's life. And I feel coming back here with this cycle, guys, with the infinity symbol. Look, with that infinity symbol, that is the connection to your person. That's also the wheel of fortune. It's the cycle of life up and down. Your person really wanting to send this through Capricorn. 
Wow, this is very, it feels very emotional. Love cares three, what's going on here? Yes, I know you love me. Please forgive me. There it is. Yeah, I'm not surprised by this at all. Please forgive me. Look, there is the apology. I will never give up on us. I want to kiss you, the physical coming through. I'm so lost without you. So many songs remind me of you. Capricorn, really strong, as I said, a musical collective energy, but really in particular for you. Your person is sending songs. They're listening to songs. I feel you both are, but you're getting, you're hearing a lot um, here. Not just here today, messages, maybe even with songs that you don't even know or love. Again, it goes way past that. This is really strong, and some of you are musicians. I fear you have moved on. I am afraid to contact you. That is the that is the Knight of Pentacles, or excuse me, the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles making its way in. Interesting, Taurus energy. <laughs> but the Knight of Wands, that Leo energy, that is what we talked a lot about, sort of also maybe having a message ready that might have gotten lost or unsent that might still come together. And it might even be talking about that. We belong together. That was really strong in my recent mystery reading, a new series. So check those out if, if you feel you're resonating. I'm waiting for the right time. Yeah, that's the divine timing. And that's very true in your reading. I still want you. I'm waiting for the right time. I still want you. You are the love of my life. Capricorn, that is a lot of the truth that is coming out for themselves here. Gosh, you guys. <laughs> okay, let me gather myself. I'm going to get a fairy stone for you. Okay, so I do not look. Look. It's a bird. It's a messenger. Yeah. All right, guys, and look what it is. It's blue. This is all, this is the throat chakra. Your person wants really to send you a message. We know that. Capricorn, I do feel that you've already had messages between each other, and then it got really deadly silent. It feels like it got radio silent, really quiet. This is coming through. This is your last message of the reading. And as you know, when, when birds and airplanes and hot air balloons and whatever <laughs> are coming into my reading, it really is because there's a message. Now, I do feel they're connecting in a way, as I said earlier, getting a lot of downloads, wanting to take off the blindfold, wanting to get unstuck here having a hard time. There are a lot of epiphanies coming through. They're trying to be honest with themselves. Again, this is really divinely timed connection. How honest they can be with you right now in a message. Yeah, I, I can't say that to you because I feel a message, but I feel messages that went on, but I also see it in the wisdom of the Oracle floating here in a lot of emotional energy because that's connected to the two of swords, but also the two of pentacles. It's real strong, but for some of you, it might just come out of nowhere, as I said. It might come out of nowhere. They're afraid, but something might be coming. Either way, take care of yourself. Again, be careful because we are in the pre-shade, the Mercury pre-shade, and we're about to go into the retrograde and everything goes haywire. Not just messages getting lost, but when you think of it, it's communication. It's We have a harder time communicating with people. We have a hard time communicating with ourselves. We tend to be more indecisive, impulsive. We might even send messages that we regret. So yeah, that would just something I want to send through to you in terms of sending messages and communicating in this particular connection just taking care right now right now in this this timing as you watch this reading okay capricorn that's your reading for today i love you very much as always if you liked this reading please take the time to like it and share with anyone you think might enjoy my readings 
Also, your comments, I welcome and love. They're on and they're on forever, Cap. So comment away. And of course, if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you're subscribed and have your notifications on. I tried so hard, Cap, to have a schedule. It just isn't gonna happen. So the best way to know when my readings are coming is to have your notifications on. And yeah, that's it. I love you. Take very good care of yourselves. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. And I look forward to seeing you at your next reading. Bye, Cap.